on you guys my name is rage and we are back today with an exciting exciting video for you all uh, in today's video we're going to be showcasing the unlock of omega red in the red death event uh being the second mythic legendary character joining the marvel strike force universe and we do actually have all the characters ready to go now i'm going to quickly show you guys um the upgrades and whatnot but um i imagine this is going to be very very straightforward just because my characters are very um equipped right now just due to them being utilized in the doom 2 raids right now and um the only one that isn't really built up is winter soldier but we'll walk through the the upgrades here and then we'll dive right into the gameplay of ultimately unlocking omega red and taking a look at his kit overall so starting off here, we got Captain Sam, as you can see, fully decked out. Uh, again, he's been huge and astronomical in Doom 2. Next, we got Sharon Carter here. Uh, this is where I have her right now. Um, ideally, I would have liked her to have a higher red, but she's been very versatile so far with her ability block and stuns. Uh, next, we got Maria Hills providing support. She's got a really strong heal and synergized extremely well, especially in these Doom 2 raids. Next, it's Nick Fury. Um, he's got some great synergy with Kestrel as well, but it's just nice that he's brought into the mix now because, um, especially with him being part of a legendary unlock, I think he's going to get some more love now going forward, and as well as with Kestrel. And lastly, Winter Soldier, again, didn't put much into him, just got him to the bare requirements, which is needed to unlock the five star here for Omega Red. So that being said, you guys, that is my roster right there. So let's dive right into the gameplay. Um, please feel free to actually fast forward if this is too slow for you. But I'm going to go through all of them just because um, you can only do this once. And once you do it, you can't replay it. So I do like to capture it on video. Uh, this is going to be very, very straightforward, though. So as you can see, um, we just got the full five that I just mentioned here. And we'll just dive right in. Starting off here, looks like uh, Omega Red's got some uh, verbiage for us, but we're just going to blow past these guys just because of the fact that um, we want to get through it and get show the unlock. So um, as you can see here, we're just going to start off with some benefits, and I'm just going to hit auto actually because our team is just so strong that we're probably going to one-shot the majority of them. Yeah, and it does seem like the Omega Red actually is quite strong here, but... Um, Again, we have very strong characters on our end, and generally the first one is uh, is a freebie for everybody. Uh, even if you guys don't have the five characters unlocked, you should be able to push through the level one in order to get those free shards that they're available for. Now that we take down Omega Red, I'm just going to focus on just cleaning up the rest of the crew here. Um, starting off with the Merc Lieutenant, and we can see Lady Deathstrike's all of, also available here, but... Again, this is going to be very straightforward because uh, our team is just uh, really built up already. And uh, usually with these first ones, you know, there's not much going on here. It's really, I would imagine a lot of players will probably just hit auto. But it's going to be really interesting to see um, how much of an impact Omega, Omega Red's going to make. Especially against the uh, the Heralds for Hire. You know, that's what they're really designed to take down. And um, just having another team on top of Infinity Watch to be able to actually focus on Omega Red now is going to be absolutely huge. As you guys can see, I already have an alliance made already unlocking Omega Red. So um, this is the beginning of it all right now. Everybody's just going to get on board here. And there you go. That's the level one. Uh, so hopefully, just keep in mind, you guys, uh, those who are watching right now that don't have all five characters ready yet, just remember that there is another double shard event coming. So that's really be mindful of that. Uh, I believe it's on the last day, usually, of this event. So that's really important to know. And now with this one, this is actually going to be our full roster here, as you can see, with the 536k total power. So this one, we are absolutely just going to breeze by it because um, the first node was usually just the preset team that they utilize. And, um, you know, you can usually just complete it by hitting auto. I don't think a lot of players usually will have issues. But uh, what we're going to do is we're starting off here. And this is going to be very quick because um, you can see their power level is only 5,000. And we're actually just going to rip by these guys. There's, you know, not even worth a strategy guide here because I imagine a lot of players will likely have the Secret Avengers built up for either the late Doom Raids or just getting them ready in order to unlock Omega Red. There we go, that's another one. And now we're gonna go ahead now with tier three. So just absolutely ripping through this uh, very quick. Like I said, uh, I think a lot of players will just have all these guys already built up because they're actually really good characters. Uh, Winter Soldier's probably the odd one out where a lot of players will just bring them to the minimum because 
again, he's just not really used in the game right now. And starting with this one, uh, we're just going to apply some buffs once again and hit auto. And we're just going to focus on human torture because he has the most damage. But the nice thing is we also get to sample Mega Red 2 right now as part of these unlocks. So that's always a nice little uh, caveat when we're going through an unlocking. But again, I don't think uh, I don't think a lot of players are going to have an issue just because of the fact that these guys are just so much lower than our main roster. And another one down. Next, we got tier four here. We'll go ahead and go through this one. Yeah, so, I mean, um, I think the biggest one right now to unlock is actually Captain America Sam, or Captain Sam, like I like to call him just for differentiation. But uh, just due to the fact that his shards, a lot of players will likely only have had him at three stars when the farming began. And that's really difficult because uh, his, uh, his campaign note isn't, exactly early but it's also not too late as well uh being in doom chapter 2 which is quite feasible in my opinion but uh a lot of times when you're trying to push a three yellow all the way to five you know you need an aspect of rng um if you get bad luck you may not even get any shards so i think that's the biggest component but sharon carter at least fortunately was in the raid store so that's really nice and she had that free event as well maria hill being in the war store but she was also a little bit earlier too to start farming so I definitely just try to buy as much as I could and, and got lucky there. But I think the biggest one that's going to hold back a lot of players will likely be Captain Sam. Perfect. And there you guys have it. And the nice thing about these uh, unlocks too is we also get the Omega Orbs, which on top of that is really beneficial. But this right here is the tier 5. Uh, most players will be keeping an eye on this one. Uh, just because this is actually ultimately how you unlock Omega Red. So we're going to go through here. Uh, I don't think I got to change the roster or anything. Because again, I think my team is overpowered for these unlocks. But uh, you can never know. Let's just take a look at the power level when we start. And we can go from there. So starting off here. Yeah, um, again, 45k, not an issue. Uh, we, we're dealing with raids. Generally, the characters are about you know 200k plus, 300 uh, so we're just going to actually hit auto once again because uh, these guys should be no concern for us. Even if there's 15 enemies, the fact that they're not even 50k just absolutely is not worth our time in terms of strategizing. Um, if you guys have your Avenger, secret Avengers built up and they're like 80k, 90k plus, uh, this is going to be no problem at all. Maybe um, Winter Soldier might go down, but that's okay because... Uh, the beautiful thing about these legendary nodes is that you don't need the three star to unlock the character uh, you just need to be able to complete it and that's really easy enough for us and you can see the absolute beautiful synergy of just the energy replenishment um, and just the amount of damage even maria hill having her ultimate as a heal but also offensive output absolutely beautiful so there you guys have it um, that's a recruit right there uh, so we're going to hit that, but you know, um, keep in mind too, we're also able to actually push through to tier six. So, you know, why the heck not get some free gold out of it and it should be a little harder, but, uh, the cool thing about this one is, oh, interesting. We actually get the full weapon X team. We don't, we can't actually use our, our, uh, secret Avengers and winter soldier of Nick Fury. So this one might re require a little bit of strategy, but we get a little, at least, uh, play tested it a little bit here. Starting off here, so um, let's see here. You know what? I'm gonna hit auto and just go for the high damage targets, but we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. And that right there is a sample of Omega Red's uh, trauma there. Um, just him inflicting a lot of damage there, uh, inflicting ne negative conditions. And the beautiful thing about Omega Red is that he actually um, almost, if not all of his attacks, most of them, he steals health from them. And he's gonna be a really strong dark dimension character. I think overall, just because he has such a great uh, self-supplementation of health, he doesn't even need his Weapon X for that. So that's absolutely beautiful. Um, you can see how we are just tearing these guys apart. So it's nice that we get the sample size this Weapon X team. Um, this is really what's going to be the future right now for what for going through Alliance War and taking down Harris for Hire. So you know what? Right now we have the Taunt, but ideally, I think Zemo is probably the better one to focus here in this cluster. But we're not going to have an issue here. Uh, they have Captain Sam, but... Um, I think they wanted us to use this team against uh, a sample of the Secret Avengers to, to really showcase, you know, um, how powerful these guys really are. And uh, as you can see there, my alliance mate's super, 
super comedic there, just saying, commenting on how Terius has already unlocked uh, unlocked Omega Red, and you can see he's already pushing his abilities right there. So yeah, we got, we just have a super competitive lines. I bet he wants to take advantage of this guy for for war. So that's gonna be exciting to see. Um, just another team to take down Hills for Hire. I think that's just great to have a counter. But um, I likely won't be personally building them up um, too soon just because my focus has mainly been in raids and really excelling in Doom 2. But uh, overall, you bet they're going to be a very formidable team, especially now we have something that can take down the infamous uh, Heroes for Hire. So now Tier 7 is the next one. I don't have them all at 6 yellow, so that's why we don't see the, uh, the attempt being available. But uh, there you guys have it. We're going to go ahead with the unlock. Just quickly take a look at his skills once again. Cost 250,000 to unlock, so you bet I'm going to go ahead and do that. Have a little bit of uh, flex there. And again, keep in mind, you guys, I am 100% free to play. So I uh, didn't do anything special. Never bought the strike pass. Just tried to farm like a lunatic when the shards were available. And uh, I was refreshing 50s and 100s nonstop every day for Captain Sam. So that's really how I got to it. But as a quick refresh for you guys, those of you who are not familiar with Omega Red skill set, uh, Carbonium Slash, uh, really with this attack, he actually steals health from the primary target and as well you can see he actually bypasses the heal block and this actually only applies to himself he doesn't heal the team um, as well when you increase his ability he's actually going to be able to increase duration of a bleed slow or offense down by t4ing it he does actually get an extra five percent health steal so i think this one is worth t4ing but again um his special ultimate and his passive are even stronger but he's got a very strong kit overall which is why you'll see um he's going to be a very very dangerous uh character to lead for his war offense team cold crush is a special and again now it has that infamous trauma uh which can be applied essentially really reducing the enemy from being able to take away the negatives and as well, um, they're not going to be able to flip it. So um, you can see this can't be blocked. It bypasses heal block once again by stealing health and redistributing to himself. As we level this up, he's going to apply ability block, offense down, and then as well, and a defensive capability here by applying speed up to his weapon next allies. And again, this is all not even applying in war, right? So this is all just standard. This is a very strong ability overall. Uh, this extra 50% damage, I don't think it's worth because you get really good value here and we're trying to save on this T4 material. So level 6 is where I would recommend right now for a special. It's a good place to start off. Tentacle Onslaught. This is his absolutely beautiful ultimate here. He flips the positives of the enemies as well as attacking them for damage. And you can see they actually reduce the speed bar. In war, uh, this is where it's going to add ultimate values. Actually applying that trauma to all the enemies actually touched. So you can see as we level this ability, uh, the stealing once again comes into play where he's actually able to steal health at bypassing heal block as per his previous abilities. Um, you can see he also has the ability block and as well as a slow and heal block, which is absolutely beautiful. But t 4 flips all the positive effects. This is a no-brainer. Um, it's just going to absolutely devastate a war team, especially uh, the notable one being Heroes for Hire. And then last but not least, Death Factor is his passive. With this one, each turn, he's going to heal himself for 20% of the max health. As well, he's also going to gain that raw 20% max health by, by increasing it. War, the added benefit of this one is just really damage output. Um, he's also going to be able to actually apply trauma right away with heal block if the full weapon axe is available. And you bet this is where they're going to really get dividends for that the team synergy. Um, as well, on spawn, he's actually going to steal right away 50% from the enemies and redistribute it to himself. So this is the one time where he actually does actually take health away and actually distributes it uh, to his fellow allies. Uh, and again, this is only on the spawn component. So by leveling up this ability, um, you can see he's going to apply speed up and death proof when his uh, when any of his health drops below 60%. Uh, he's also going to apply defense up to himself and the Weapon X allies on spawn, giving them a boatload of benefits. And then war, they're going to actually increase the speed bar of the Weapon X allies and as well as focus. And by T4ing, they're going to get an increased 30% health for himself and as well that increased damage and that 30% health actually applies in war as well. So I mean, this is a no-brainer for T4 as well, especially if you can confirm that you guys are in fact uh, using this as a top tier team for your alliance war. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you as always. This is a brief overview of his kit, but uh, I always enjoy making these videos and this is exciting because this is the second Mythic Legendary now joining us in the field. It'll likely be some time before I bring them up, but uh, definitely looking to because they're going to provide a lot of value, especially if you are heavily going into war and needing to add those offensive output. So thank you as always, guys. Do appreciate you checking my videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.